Hey everyone, Chris Shogi back with a update video to my collection. Yes, it's been a while. I apologize. I was just with everything going on and uh, the uh, you know still being summer and it's just you know having to do with college. I finally got a chance to. I'm finally doing another update video on my collection. Now I will point out that. Actually, you know what? No, I don't have anything to point out. Never mind. But yeah, I figured I'd do an update on my collection that I have. Because why not? It's been a while. We'll start over here on the shelf. You see on the... Uh, sorry, my shadow's in the way. It's my Legos and Mega Constructs figures. You know, the Mega Blocks Halo stuff. My custom minifigure Sonic. Lego Dimensions Unikitty with ship... Lego, the Lego Movie, Double Tick Couch, Lego Movie, uh, Cloud Google Land Palace, I believe, the Creo Optimus Prime, and yes, I did mod my Optimus figure here. I changed the arms and legs and hands. My Lego Ghost Rider Spider Man set with, with Hobgoblin, some Le a Lego Scooby Doo Mummy set, Lego Scooby Doo <clears throat> Airplane set. The Mega Constructs or Mega Blocks Assassin's Creed 5 pack, you know, with, with an assassin and four Borgia guards, which I like to pretend it's Assassin's Altair. Another Assassin's Creed Mega Block set with a Borgia guard and Ezio. I forgot the tower, the tower name of this, but oh well. I pure my uh, Transformers, mostly Transformers Prime shelf. You have Beast Hunters Prime, Ultra Magnus. Robots in the Sky, Transformers Prime, Robots in the Skies, Bulkhead, Ratchet, and RC, which I did mod, which I will admit I could have done a better job. Fall of Cybertron Grimlock with the upgrade kit. I forgot the name. Beast Hunters, uh, oh, Robots in the Skies Wheeljack, Beast Hunters Smokescreen, and my first edition Bumblebee, which is actually a huge, is actually a better figure than the Robots in the Skies one. And some world's smallest Prime and Bumblebee, as well as these two uh, dollar store little static figures, and a little static fig static figure of me as Aiden Pierce. You have Transformers Headmasters Blur, the Transformers Legacy Collection uh, Elite One, and the Transformers 30th Anniversary, I believe, or what was it? Transformers Generations, I believe. Windblade figure, which I did modify as well. Though I am planning on getting the Flame Toys Fury model Windblade to replace this one. Up here on my horror movie, horror game, and you know, normal game stuff. Here we have The Walking Dead game series Clementine, The Walking Dead TV series Daryl Dixon, NECA. Michael Myers back there, Freddy Krueger, part four, Jason Voorhees, Robocop, uh, Gypsy Danger from Pacific Rim, still a great figure. My Star Wars The Last Jedi or The Force Awakens Rey, which I decided not to have her pose with a lightsaber because, well, I'm actually not going to get into it. The uh, Mezc, my, I think, Mezco or Mondo... Five Nights at Freddy's figures. They came with the Build a Figure Spring Trap. I forgot what they made them. What made them? But anyway, my Skyrim, Dova Keen, and Daedric Warrior, McFarlane Assassin's Creed, Jacob Fry, which is a apparently a special edition I got from Toys R Us that didn't come with the hood. Well, rest in peace, Toys R Us. Okay, not really. It's back with Macy's. But anyway, McFarlane, Arnold Dorian, McFarlane. Ezio and Altair, I, which I tried to pose them as I did in the uh, Assassin's Creed Revelation poster. A McFarlane, Evelyn de Gondre. Yes, that sounds but like a bad. That sounds bad. What I said, but anyway, McFarlane, Connor Kenway, and Redona Geron from Assassin's Creed Three. Uh, McFarlane, two McFarlane Edward Kenways, what both from the main game. 
from Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. And yes, his hood is painted black because I used the hood for a custom, but I decided not to use it anymore. I'm... I haven't decided when I'm going to remove the paint yet, but... And let's see, where is he? Uh, I'm trying to look for the uh, My McFarlane toys. Uh, McFarlane out of all that figure. I'm pretty sure I have it somewhere. I found him, it's hard to see, but he fell. But yeah, it's an auto wallet back there, but he fell over. I'm gonna have to fix that. And my D-Arts X and Vile figures, which these are actually really old figures, and I had to swap parts, mostly for Vile, his lower torso and legs, and for X, his arms, both from Ultimate X. But yeah, um, yeah, these are old figures. They very old. I might get new ones or something. I don't know. My DC Direct Arkham Origin Batman, Arkham Origins Deathstroke, Arkham Knight Batman, McFarlane Toys Destiny 2 uh, K7 or K6, I mean. My NECA Ezio Auditori from Brotherhood, Ebony Armor, I believe. Yeah, Ebony Armor. McFarlane Toys Noble 6 for Halo Reach and Halo 2 Master Chief. And yeah, this, no, this Noble 6 figure I got from Sean Long from my first ever toy show, which is awesome. My, uh, hold on a minute, I need to fix something. There. My Jazzwares Wicked Cool Toys Master Chief from Series 1, and he's holding the Mezco Assault Rifle because the Assault Rifle he comes with is too small. My Thousand Toys Master Chief, which is a, which is a fantastic figure, and I really like it. And hold on, let me just get my chair because the upper shelves my uh, my Marvel and DC stuff. You can see my McFarlane toys, McFarlane DC Multiverse Joker from Arkham Asylum, my the Arkham Knight Batman from DC Multiverse, my modded or kid bashed Red Hood, which uses the body from the uh, three Jokers Red Hood. And the head and forearms from the uh, Arc Gotham Knights Red Hood. And the hands and guns from Bloodshot. But yeah. My Sprue Kits Level 2 Batman. Marvel Universe Captain America and Superior Iron Man I believe it's called. Some Mini Mates Felicia and X-23 from Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Marvel Legends Kraven. Marvel Legends Spider-Girl. Marvel Legends White Tiger, which I did mod. Marvel Legends Iron Fist back there. Mar a uh, Marvel Legend, a custom um, kit patch Marvel Legends figure that I have that I created from the Red Ninja and I painted up Daredevil head. Yep, Marvel Legends Moon Knight, uh, Marvel Legends Black Panther, also kit bashed, but I also glued in the necklace from the one of the Walgreens. No, no, not Walgreens, Walmart exclusive figures. Marvel Legends Ultimate Captain America, which I give him the, uh, t a gun, the uh, assault rifle or Tommy gun from the, uh, chameleon figure. I honestly don't know my gun, so I could be wrong. Marvel Legends Netflix Electra with the, uh, farm boy Luke Skywalker arms. Marvel Legends Renew Your Vows Spider Man and Spinnerette. Marvel Legends Wolverine, uh, Marvel Legends Moon Knight Walgreens exclusive, Marvel Legends Ghost Rider and Hell Cycle set, Marvel Legends Carnage, which is an old figure as well, another old figure, Marvel Legends Daredevil, Marvel Legends Nick Fury. Okay, can you move some? I have to move to this side here. And close my door since it's not all the way closed. All right. Some uh, Mini Mates Iron Spider Man and Taskmaster, Mini Mates Electro, and another Mini Mates Spider Man back there, and he fell over. <sighs> God. Fell over. The thing with being, the thing with having a collection, things don't like standing up. Let me just fix that.
There we go, Mini Mage Spider-Man. A little mini uh, Storm figure that Sean Long gave to me on my first toy show. So thank you, Sean Long. Yeah. And I'm just in the Marvel Select PS4 Spidey, which is still a fantastic figure. And I actually prefer this over the Marvel Legends one, which I don't have. And I don't have the original Marvel Legends PS4 Spidey because, you know, this guy has, you know, if you do the torso mod, has better articulation, more accessories, and just looks overall better. As well as a neck mod as well, but yeah, this figure is fantastic. I'm so happy that I got him. Hold on, man, just trying to fix something here. Let me just fix something. I know the camera, I know my phone's still recording. I apologize, but just want to make sure his fingers don't get warped. Eh, good enough. But yeah, that's, that's my shelf there. Let me just get down. Oh, my uh, May fag is Nightwing with the Xbox, original Xbox One, my PS5, because why not? And my laptop. A poster of Ghost Rider. I mean, because Ghost Rider is my all-time favorite Marvel hero. A Transformer Autobot hat, an Assassin's Creed hat. My replica Tomahawk from Assassin's Creed 3. That's why not. And over here on this little shelf here, we have the Sharpticon Megatron from Lee Centers. Two statuette figures of Starscream and Soundwave, which, yet again, both fell over. Um, a Transformers Headmasters figure. I forgot the name of this guy, unfortunately. You know, War for Cybertron, Skywarp, Dark of the Moon, Deluxe Class, Shockwave with modified hands. I gave him ball pick hands. Headmaster Scavaltron, also modified. The Beast Hunters upscaled uh, Voyager uh, Predaking. I almost forgot what he was named. But anyway, Predaking, again with modified hands, though they don't work as well as these. A Beast Hunters Shockwave in vehicle mode. Recon Ravage, an old Transformers figure from the uh, Transformers Hunt for the Decepticons line, which is a mail-in figure that I got from the toy show. Or, no, not toy show. Comic-Con, I believe. I don't know. A Optimus Prime drinking cup that I got from Universal Studios. My Softimus Prime plush. Yes, I still have this guy after so long, because why not? And a uh, my Big Wild Comic Fest poster that I got when I first got there. Transformers Generation 1 uh, poster with the different Autobots and Decepticons. <coughs> Ow! And I kicked my toolbox. Batman Arkham Knight poster, Hulk and Iron Man poster, Batman Arkham Knight, well, Arkham Knight poster. Some two Sonic drawings that my uncle did, Dark Sonic and Sonic from the Black, Sonic from Sonic and the Black Knight at the bottom. A Transformers 2007 Movie stickum poster, I think. You put Optimus Prime's name at the top, Optimus Prime middle, his truck mode, and it says Transformers of Bono. My Assassin's Creed Unity poster, Assassin's Creed 3 poster, a cute little Zelda po Zelda picture that I got from Comic Con, a, a drawing of Shantae from a from a classmate of mine when we were in a, when we were in a uh, the animation class. A Comic Con box website thing that I could do, but I never did. Okay, yes, a drawing of a shy guy that okay looks looks kind of lame. A Wolverine the X Men poster, a poster of two Optimus Prime's arm wrestling. School, and yes, those are nunchucks. Don't worry, I don't use them to fight. They're just there for display. And on my dresser are a bunch of other figures, random figures I put up. My, uh... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. A Punisher Claw. A Pirates of the Caribbean Locket. I think my brother gave this to me. A... A... A, uh, I forgot the name of this guy. Um, 
Uh, shit, I forgot his name. It's a third party Optimus Prime figure. I forgot the name of him, but I'll look back on it. But I'll look back on what he is when I'm done here. My Jack specific Sonic figures, you know, Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, and Amy. I do plan on getting more of them, but, you know, I kind of also want to. Because if you watch King's Customs, he does add elbow articulation, which sounds cool, but I'm hesitant to actually do the mod because I don't want to end up ruining these guys. So, yeah, for now, they're just stuck like this. I mean, I honestly don't know why Jack Specific didn't just give them elbows in the first place. I just think it's kind of lame. SH Figure Arts, Cammy White from Street Fighter V, I believe. Yeah, Street Fighter V. Figma Overwatch figures, Reaper and Tracer. My Gundams, you know, high grade RX 78 2 Gundam, which is which only is just gonna, he's just gonna be on the shelf. I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna mess with this guy. My no, no, not real grade RX 78 2 Gundam, high grade tri burning Gundam, and the Robot Damashi Robot Damashi RX 78 2 Gundam, which is a huge improvement from this guy. Gundam Universe Death Scythe and God Gundams. Fortnite um, Spectre, I believe his name. It's a Jazzverse figure, but it's cool. Awesome, I mean. McFarlane Toys Black Knight and Fortnite figure. My Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures, you know, Series 1 White Ranger, Shadow Ranger, and Lord Zed. Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Remastered Yellow and Blue Rangers, and the uh, Luda Wolf Ranger. NECA Toys Alien Xenomorph, my NECA Kratos and Atreus 2 pack figures, my NECA Predators, NECA uh, Lost, Ron Lost Ronin figure, <clears throat> McFarlane Toys Cut Cuddle Team Leader from Fortnite, Figma Inkling Girl, which is a little cutie pie. <laughs> okay, that, sounded, that didn't sound right, sorry. NECA Toys Re Hayabusa, the official one, not the knockoff. A huge improvement. And my McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn, which I kit bashed some parts from my um, Malefic Spawn. You know, the forearm and the the uh, calf area is from the Malefic, Malefic Spawn. And I decided that I'm going to try to get a custom cape for this guy. <clears throat> so for now, he just has the, uh, he's not wearing a cape. And he only, he has a uh, bloodshot to his rifle. And I do have him on the stand because he is, for some reason, had trouble standing up. And I'm working for my toys, Gunslinger Spawn, with the hands from the Mal Malefic Spawn, and the knife from Blood, and the, a little blade from Bloodshot that I used for my Red Hood, but now I use for this guy. And I did mod this guy because, you know, if you remember my video, I repaint the eyes, added torso articulation, just improved this guy a lot. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Oh, I almost forgot a uh, cute Pokemon Celebi drawing that another a classmate from middle school gave me. So yeah, if you're watching this, thank you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And my Oculus Quest too. I mean. I thought I was done, but no. Oculus Quest 2 and PS4 controllers, even though I don't play PS4 anymore. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Now, it's been a while, but like I said, with everything going on. <clears throat> but either way, um, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It's not, I mean, it's nothing crazy, but I just figured I'd update you guys on what I have. But yeah, um, and I almost forgot my assassin outfit, my Assassin's Creed 4 Caribbean Islands poster, which is actually double sided because the other side, on the other side is the McFarlane, Tom McFarlane painting of Assassin's Creed 4. My classic Doom poster that I got when I bought Doom 20, Doom 2016, I believe. But yeah, anyway, now I'm done. Anyway, guys. That's it. See you all next time.